Then the Lord saw that the wickedness of man was great on the earth, and that every intent of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. The Lord was sorry that he had made man on the earth, and he was grieved in his heart. Genesis chapter 6, verse 5 and 6. God said, I will blot out man, whom I have created from the face of the land, from man to animals to creepy things and to birds of the sky, for I am sorry that I have made them. Genesis chapter 6 verse 7. But Noah found favor in the eyes of the Lord. Noah was a righteous man, blameless in his time. Noah walked with God. Noah became the father of three sons, Jim, Ham, and Japheth. Genesis chapter 6 verse 8. Chapter 9 verse 10. Then God said to Noah, The end of all flesh has come before me, for the earth is filled with violence because of them. And behold, I am about to destroy them with the earth. Genesis chapter 6 verse 13. Make for yourself an ark of gopher wood. You shall make the ark with rooms, and shall cover it inside and out with patch. This is how you shall make it. The length of the R 300 cubits, its breadth 50 cubits, and its height 30 cubits. Genesis chapter 6 verse 14 through 15. Behold, I, even I am bringing the flood of water upon the earth, to destroy all flesh, in which is the breath of life. But I will establish my covenant with you, and you shall enter the ark, you and your sons and your wife and your son's wives with you. Genesis chapter 6, verse 17 and 18. By faith, Noah being warned by God about things not yet seen, in reverence, prepared an ark for the salvation of his household, by which he condemned the world, and became a hearer of the righteousness which is according to faith. Hebrews chapter 11, verse 7. God told Noah, into the ark, you and all your household, for you alone I have seen to be righteous before me in this time. Genesis chapter 7 verse 1. Noah also took the land, animals, and birds onto the ark as God commanded. So they went into the ark to Noah, by twos of all flesh in which was the breath of life. Those that entered, male and female of all flesh, entered as God had commanded him, and the Lord closed it behind him. Genesis chapter 7 verse 15 and 16. Then the flood came upon the earth for forty days, and the waters increased and lifted up the ark, so that it rose above the earth. The water prevailed and increased greatly upon the earth, and the ark floated on the surface of the water. Genesis chapter 7 verse 17 through 18. All flesh that moved on the earth perished, birds and cattle and beat breasts of every swarming thing that swarms upon the earth, and all mankind of all that was on the dry land, all in whose nostrils was the breath of the spirit of life died. Genesis chapter 7 verse 21 through 22. Thus God blooded out every living thing that was upon the face of the land, and only Noah was left together with those that were with him in the ark. The water prevailed upon the earth 150 days. Genesis chapter 7 verse 23 to 24. In the seventh month, on the seventeenth day of the month, the ark rested upon the mountains of Ariat. The water decreased steadily until the tenth month. In the tenth month, on the first day of the month, the tops of the mountains became visible. Genesis chapter 8, verse 4 to 5. After one year of being in the ark, through floods and waiting for the water to deceit, God instructed Noah, saying, Go out of the ark, you and your wife and your sons and your sons' wives with you, 
Bring out with you every living thing of all flesh that is with you. Genesis chapter 8 verse 16 and 17. Noah, his family, and all the animals went off the ark to the dry land. Then Noah built an altar to the Lord and took of every clean animal of every clean bird and offered burnt offerings on the altar. Genesis chapter 8 verse 20. God was grateful with Noah's offering. He made a covenant with mankind and all flesh. Genesis chapter 8 verse 22, chapter 9 verse 17. Then God placed the rainbow in the sky to remind his creation that he would never do this to the earth again.